The movie starts by talking about a story about magic petals from a special tree in the Amazon. These petals could heal any sickness and undo any curse. In the 16th century, Spanish soldiers led by a man named Ajira went on a journey to find this tree. But they failed because the jungle was too powerful. According to the story, Ajira was saved by local people. But instead of being thankful, he attacked them to get a special arrowhead. As punishment, he was left to live in the jungle forever. In 1916, a man named McGregor tells a group of explorers that the legend of the Tears of the Moon is real and could help people with medicine. He asks for the arrowhead, which has been found recently. But the group says no, thinking it's a waste of time. While McGregor keeps trying to convince them, his sister Lily sneaks into the archive room. She finds the crate with the arrowhead, which is the key to finding the Tears of the Moon. Prince Joachim, who also wants the arrowhead, finds out it's been stolen and sees Lily. He tells his friends to catch her. She tries to escape on a ladder and knocks everyone down. But Joachim hits the ladder, making Lily hang on the edge. Luckily, McGregor sees her and stops a bus, so she can jump to safety. They escape with the arrowhead. A museum worker accidentally tells everyone who Joachim is. He gets mad and tries to hurt everyone. Lily and McGregor get ready to go to the Amazon to find something called the Tears of the Moon. Now, the scene changes to South America. A boat driver named Frank is taking some rich people on a ride on the Amazon River. He tries to entertain them with simple tricks, but they're too scared to enjoy it. One person even offers him a lot of money to make the boat go faster. Lily and McGregor arrive in South America to find someone named Nilo who can give them a boat for their trip. But it turns out that Frank owes Nilo money. So, Nilo takes Frank's boat engine until he pays up. Frank sneaks into Nilo's office to get his engine back. While McGregor goes to a bar, Lily goes to Nilo's office and meets Frank, who pretends to be Nilo. She helps him get his boat key, and Frank tricks her into hiring him for their trip. But then McGregor shows up with the real Nilo, and Lily doesn't trust Frank anymore. Just when Lily is about to leave, a wild jaguar shows up and starts scaring people in the bar. Frank decides to fight the jaguar and gets it out of the bar with some meat. Lily and McGregor are impressed and decide to let Frank come with them on their trip, especially since he gets his boat engine back. He says that the jaguar named Proxima is Frank's pet. He purposely told Proxima to cause a scene at the bar while Frank and McGregor are arguing about the bags. Lily gets taken by bird catchers hired by Joachim. Luckily, Lily can pick locks and frees herself from the cage. Frank comes to help her, and they run to the boat as Joachim's men chase them. To keep it short, Lily, Frank, and McGregor meet up again on La Cuela and start their journey to the tree. They realize Lily got away from Joaquim's men. The German appears from his submarine and shoots at them with a machine gun. This makes the boat lose power, so Frank has to steer it manually. He even fires a torpedo, but Frank steers the boat through an old building, dodging the torpedo. They escape Joaquim while his submarine gets stuck and hits other boats. Frank tries to get closer to Lily and McGregor by telling jokes. Lily also shows the skipper a moving picture camera. They decide to stop and rest, and Frank serves them freshly fried piranhas for dinner. Later, Lily and McGregor find out that Proxima is Frank's pet. This upsets Lily and makes her lose trust again. Meanwhile, Joaquim and his men go to an underground cave where Ajira and his men were trapped. Joaquim pours river water, waking Ajira, who has snakes inside him. Ajira agrees to help Joachim find the tears of the moon to break the curse. Joachim floods the cave with a detonator. In a deep cave with a river, Lily found a way to wake up the remaining conquistadors. They faced rough water, but Frank steered skillfully, avoiding a big waterfall. They stopped on land to rest and cut trees. McGregor told Frank he was disowned by his family for being gay, but Lily always supported him. Lily snooped in Frank's room and found he loved cars and maps of the magic tree. When they got back, Lily accused Frank of wanting the moon tears, but he gave up long ago. They were knocked out and captured by locals who took them to a tribe. The chief, speaking Tupi, asked for the arrowhead. Lily refused and tried to escape, but it was a trap set by Frank. Lily was angry and punched him. She talked to Sam, who translated the arrowhead's writing, revealing the tree's location and that it blooms under a blood moon in two days. Suddenly, Ajira and his men 
familiar to Frank, attack the tribe. The skipper and Lily try to run away using a rope, but they fail after a big fight. The conquistadors get the arrowhead, but Frank gets it back and throws it to Lily before getting stabbed by Aguirre's sword and falling into the water. Lily manages to escape and is told to stay away from the river because a curse stops the conquistadors from crossing it. They send a message to Joaquim using bees. The next day, Lily is surprised to see Frank alive with the blade still in his chest. He tells her his real name is Francisco, and he's about 400 years old. Lily helps him pull the blade out. Frank and Lily keep going on their journey alone, while McGregor stays with Sam since he's hurt. Frank tells Lily about his past. He and Najira were like brothers. Aguirre's daughter got sick, so he looked for the tears of the moon to cure her. Frank was a mapmaker, but nature beat them and Najira lost most of his men. The survivors didn't want to go back, and later, villagers healed them with the tree's petals. But Aguirre got impatient and made the chief give him the arrowhead. The leader said no because he didn't feel good enough, so Aguirre killed him. Frank then helped the leader's daughter get the arrowhead before the leader died. He cursed Aguirre and his men to be stuck in the jungle forever. Aguirre was angry at Frank for betraying him. They kept fighting until Frank tricked Aguirre and his men into a cave, keeping them trapped for centuries. Frank built a town and became friends with nearby villagers. He said he was looking for something called the Tears of the Moon, so he could die peacefully in his submarine. The bees told the prince where Lily was, and he ordered his men to go there. The submarine reached Lily's location and found Sam and McGregor. Joaquim took Lily's brother with him, and the tribe leader swam away. He made McGregor lead them to Lily. The boat reached a place called La Luna Rota, where the tears of the moon were. Lily had to overcome her fear of swimming to help Frank. After many tries, she managed to pull a lever that opened a chamber. But Joaquim and McGregor were waiting for them underwater. Joaquim made them go into a passage, and Lily had to give him the arrowhead. He said he would use it to win a war. They arrived at the tree, and the prince told Lily and Frank to make the magic tree work. They find out that the arrowhead is shaped like a heart and eventually find a red gem hidden inside it under the blood moon. Lily puts the gem into the broken-hearted warrior figure, and the tree starts to bloom because only one of them will get a petal. Lily purposely shoots Frank, and they both head towards the petals. Immortal Frank goes back to the boat and defeats Joaquim's men while Lily outsmarts and escapes from Yuno. She rushes towards the petals alone before time runs out and manages to get one. She gives it to Frank, and suddenly the conquistadors join the chaos. Najira attacks Joaquim with snakes for betraying him, while Frank fights with the gear and his men on the boat. The skipper steers the boat towards a wall to block the river, trapping Najira, his men, and Frank. Joaquim reappears, and McGregor punches him, causing him to be killed by a falling pillar. The boat crashes into the wall, stopping the water flow and imprisoning Najira and his crew. Lily gives the pedal to Frank, but it doesn't work initially. Proxima roars, and the stone around Frank crumbles, bringing him back to life without immortality. Lily hugs Frank, and they, along with the skipper, safely reach the harbor and return to London. In the end, McGregor turns down the Royal Society's invitation, while Lily buys Frank the car he's always wanted. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Stay tuned for the next video, and I'll see you in the next one.